Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Things are really getting epic now, huh, Marty? Uh-huh. In the yeah. last episode, if you didn't see it and you should have. No, well, <laughs> let's not spoil it. They need to go back and watch go it themselves. Go back and watch it yourself. It's a bit intense. Yeah, you should never watch Ace Attorney videos out of order. You're gonna miss stuff. Anyhow, we're on the last trial day for Turnabout Goodbyes. <laughs> so, are we in the hospital or something now? December 28th, 9.51 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. We are How not in... are we alive? We just got hit by, a, like, a, the electric stun gun thing. It's a stun gun, not a death ray. It was basically a death ray. 600 watts. You no, could, he six, said you could 600,000 die. volts. Well, he said you could die. He said, yeah, but we did it. Thankfully. This is it. Judgment Day. Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Wah! What's the big idea? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from the run-in with the stun gun next yesterday. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Wait, is Maya just like touching people and being like, ah! <laughs> I guess she great. hasn't discharged yet. Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Whoa! Well, well, what are you doing? <laughs> sorry! I'm sorry! I just thought I'd, I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back! Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. Right. Good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Whoa! Yeah, pal! <laughs> <laughs> I thought she fell over. What's gotten into that girl? Detective Gumshoe! Morning, Mr. Edgeworth! Uh, good morning. How did it go, Detective? Have no fear! As promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker! Oh boy! <laughs> I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember. And I'm going to prove it. But we did lose the letter. So, we're back to pretty much no clues. Anyhow, December 28th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number That's, three. I'm, I'm telling you, it's because we he missed his spa. That's why. <laughs> That's why, yeah. Sorry, Von Karma. Sorry, not sorry. Quarters now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. He's like, I really wanted to go to my facial, but I had to book another day for this trial. The prosecution is ready. Wow. Uh, uh, right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well, Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Oh, sweet. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. He said, up. Oh, of course. Howdy. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he there he <laughs> from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Did Wait, he change his robe? No. I didn't think he was wearing pink before. No, oh, he was definitely always wearing pink. Huh? Witness, why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as he will now testify. Oh, I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. He's like, I had a fair show I had to go to. Uh, hmm? I had to go Witness to testimony, why I left court. Uh, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did, but I wasn't running away or nothing. I, I went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. 
So, my testimony yesterday stands as is. Uh, but well, why did it take all night for to find him? <laughs> Good question. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He's like, well, Polly ran away, and then went into the woods, and then <laughs> Detective Gumshoe just tackled me to the ground. <laughs> he has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. Cross-examine why I left the court. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday. Oh, How sorry are you? I'd call what you did running away and not just leaving. You don't have to leave court. You heard Larry's testimony and realized you were in danger. <laughs> now, Mr. Wright, there's no need to rush the, to conclusions. As I said, the witness was not running away. Listen to the testimony. He sure seems relaxed. In fact, they both do. Von Karma and Yo Yanni Yogi. I mean, Yanni Yogi's always the last. Oh, yeah! I'm just pretending to be crazy. <laughs> then why did you leave? Not He's just about to say why! Is it so hard for you to just sit quietly and listen to someone when someone's hey, talking? Hey, you just said cross-examine as much as you want, Colonel. I will take my sweet time. <laughs> if I sat quietly, Edgeworth would be guilty in three minutes! <laughs> yeah, it's true. I went to buy some food for Polly, see? We already established that, like, Polly make could be robotic. I don't think so. I, I, I think so. Well, Polly's a bit of a gourmand, you see. Oh, wow. She only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. They only have them in the big pet oh, shop oh, downtown. So he's like, I had to go all the way to France. I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's why you were gone. <laughs> but you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker's shack? Er, uh, well, I kind of got lost, you see. What? The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's going to believe that. Hmm, I see. So he was lost. Please, your honor, come to your senses. <laughs> I figured I got nothing to do with this anyhow. <laughs> You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, uh yep, yeah, it seems like it. Then how could you know that you had, didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh, or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Uh, how am I supposed to prove what's going on in that Uncle Codger's head? That's impossible. Hmm. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Why do I say something, Mr. Wright? Oh, yes. Sure. Yes, Your Honor? What up? You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case, and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Alright. Order, order. Mr. Wright, there is a serious problem with your claim. Or, are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho ho! Now this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. Gregory Edgeworth, Yanni Yogi, or Robert Hamm. <laughs> I would, okay, to be honest, I would laugh my freaking head off if it actually was Gregory Edgeworth, but... <laughs> well, we know it's not Hammond. It's not Hammond. His name is Robert Hammond! He's dead. Mr. Wright, Robert Hammond is the name of the victim in this case. Uh... Generally, the victim in a murder case is no longer living. That's true! <laughs> please try again. Mr. Wright, please tell us the witness's name. His name is Gregory Edgeworth! Er, Mr. Wright, 
All of us here remember what Gregory Edgeworth looked like. <laughs> and he looked nothing like this, believe me. Wow, that's pretty harsh, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm going to have to penalize you for your wild claim. Oh, man. <laughs> His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi? That name seems familiar. How old is this judge? We is don't, like, we don't is know. Is like, I'm 70? <laughs> oh! Yanni Yogi! From the GL6 incident! I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi? Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? All or nothing. This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick! How are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. Oh. I see. That makes sense. Watch, he'll be huh? like... He'll be like, I took everything! I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Wh why The witness has no fingerprints. What the heck is that supposed to what? be? What? What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers working with the stuff. Yep. What? what? Yogi, you sneak! You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. It's not true. No! Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh... I still have proof. Hmm. It proof. seems that the case has been decided, no? No! I know what happened. I know everything. I, I just can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Maya. No, I. okay, Oof. Maya, you gotta channel somebody right now. Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might not ha he might have erased his fingerprints. What did I do? Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief, hmm? Yeah, yeah, if they're funny, you're a sore Honestly, winner about karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? Thank you! That's what I wanted to do! <laughs> what is it, Nick? No, you're not going to. Your Honor, the defense would like to take Mr. Valkarma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Valkarma up? On his proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is one of the best parts of the case. Oh, order! Order! Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Valkarma? Did you even ask? This is a farce! I object! Wait a second! You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma! I have a right to do as you suggested! <laughs> well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest! <laughs> of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy! Well, still want to go through with your little game? Yes. <laughs> All breaking the fourth wall, Von Karma, as always. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, this is a really stupid idea. <laughs> I've heard of desperate men grasping at straws, but this is the first time I've heard of men grasping at macaws! <laughs> okay, Von Karma, that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> think, Von Karma's a perfectionist in all things. He's probably rigged every piece of evidence at all the testimonies. You can't rig a parrot. <laughs> if I can't do the unexpected, I have no chance of winning. Your Honor, I thought about this proposal. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to cross-examine the parrot. Ridiculous! 
Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. This is the most ridiculous feat I have ever heard. <laughs> but Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except the parrot. She's my last chance. At least, I think so. She only says hello, though. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. Oh my gosh, Best witness ever. <laughs> That's quite a bird. Please tell us your name. Name? The witness is ignoring me. It must hurt to be ignored by a bird. <clears throat> Very well, witness. Who is your owner? Please, er, testify for us. <laughs> witness testimony. Who is your owner? Hello. Hello. Squack. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Hmm. Certainly the most concise testimony we've heard so far. Very well, <laughs> begin your cross-examination. Right. What are you going to do, Nick? I... I don't know! What do we do, Maya? Hmm. <laughs> cross-examination. Who is your owner? Well... I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yogi. We need all the perfect... <laughs> hello, hello, what? Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. R right. Um, what do I say? Have we forgotten something? What's your name? What's the safe number? Uh, have... <laughs> have we forgotten something? Remember? Two days ago? Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? Squack! Don't forget to yell six! Squack! <laughs> that is not how parrots squawk. Squack! 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 What? I have only seen a parrot once. Yo ho, yo ho, a parrot's life for me. No, wow. one time I went trick or treating, and legit, this guy dressed up as a, uh, as a pirate, and his pet parrot rode with him all night. That's pretty awesome. No, you saw him too. I didn't see him at Halloween. You didn't see him at Halloween. No. Okay. I've only been trick or treating a few times, so. Okay. If I can get Polly to say that here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? Hello, hello, Scott. <laughs> Th that's not what you're supposed to say. Forgot something we forgot. Hello, hello, Squack. Uh oh, it's not working, Nick. She won't say it. This is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? Stupid karma. Something the matter, okay. Mister Wright? <laughs> karma was probably like, oh, wait. All right, I gotta go get. The bird, and then he started, like, beating her Don't around. tell me that Von Karma expected this! He couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Did he train her not to respond when we asked we'd forgotten something? So Von Karma literally spent the whole night being like, Have we forgotten something? We, hello, we hello! <laughs> the entire <laughs> night. There's no way he could have done it otherwise. Witness, you're here to speak. You must speak to me. Frankly, I can't believe you're speaking to that parrot. <laughs> well, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yogi. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is Pick ridiculous. Witness, you can't just say hello, <laughs> Maya. What, what do, do we... I say? Which one should we do? Uh, what's the safe number? Actually, let's let's do this one first. I'd say maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, Squack. Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? Of course, no, it doesn't. Of course. <laughs> what happens if we say no, it doesn't? Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with that. No. Hmm. Please only ask questions pertaining to the matter at hand. Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. I love how everyone in court is just, like, totally cool with this. Also, it's funny... Con karma. Funny thing. So this this game takes place in the year 2016. 
in actual real life, 2016, they had like a trial where a parrot had to testify to the That's court, awesome. which is pretty hilarious. I had no idea. <laughs> yes, it where does. It? I don't remember. Ha! Yeah. Huh, fascinating. You claim that the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity? Then show us the proof. Nick, don't you think you're talking the bluff? You're taking the bluffing a little too far. Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor, the proof that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is... Oh. Well, obviously... <laughs> Mr. Wright, I had hoped you would have learned this by now. <laughs> Making random guesses here is a waste of court time. Uh-oh, wrong again. That is all. Witness, continue your testimony. Alright. Polly. Just look at that bullet. No. I had hoped. Parrot? The erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker. File. <laughs> oh, check. Yeah. Yep. Next. Back. Ballistic markings? Didn't you pay attention during Von Karma's lecture in the first trial? Or I guess the judges, where it's like the gun's fingerprints. A little bit? Doggone it, Marty. <laughs> uh, it's been a day or two since then. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> the ballistic markings thing. I remember because she was like, "It's really oh, important to the entire case." I'm sure, but he had this long thing about it, and I was like, "Okay, I don't really care about this." Like, I know I was supposed to care, but I'm like, "I don't care." <laughs> Fine. Do you not know what it is? That will be my best guess, but which one? The bullet with ballistic markings. Which one? The DL6 one or DL6 bullet? Why would that? I don't Ty know. Polly Maybe he to had his Yogi. parrot in the elevator. There's actually there's no photo of that. Dang it. No. <laughs> um. Ne the next page. Maybe. We have two pages. What about the autops? So basically, what we have to do is we have to tie the name Polly to the name Yoki. So it has to be something involving DL6. Yeah. So, one of these three pieces of evidence, most likely. Look up the incident photo again. The incident photo? The parrot was not in the elevator. But I'm looking very, very closely at everything. What's that weird thing there? Is um, like... maybe someone punched a hole in the elevator door to get try to get out. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so that's not it then. Uh, We've already seen the evidence, though. <laughs> you literally were just like, okay, and like, went right past it. Oh. Parrot? It's the caretaker? Right, Coach. but that doesn't tie it to Yogi. It doesn't tie it to Yogi. The, um, the case file? Yes. Yeah. Memory loss. That could be it. I think that's it. The uh, DL6 case file? That's quite a large file you have there! Which page is this proof on, then? Show us or stop wasting our time! Hmm... Very well. Mr. Wright, please show us the page. Where in this file is the information connected to the parent's name? I know. It's on the case summary page. I'm sorry, but I don't see anything here that relates to the name Polly. At least not on this page. Hm! A bluff, as I expected. I'm afraid I have to deny your claim, Mr. Wright. The witness may continue. Alright, that was boring. It's on the suspect data page. This page has all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide, see? Hmm, indeed it does say that, yes. What was his fiancé's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, your honor. I don't know that. 
I oh I do guess I did. I you didn't it. see that? I didn't see her name. I just saw fiance died suicide. Oh, I didn't okay. see the whole thing. Well, that explains why you were confused. I was okay. like, what's <laughs> happening here? <laughs> he remembered the name of his fiance who committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is possible. Man, what a sad life for any yogi. Bah! A mere coincidence, that's all. My granddaughter has a dog that she calls Phoenix. Well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does that make you my granddaughter's fiancé? How the heck does he have She's children? only seven years old! <laughs> hmm, indeed. Now, here's the thing. We never see his granddaughter, so I'm pretty sure he literally just made her up. Just to okay. counter your point. That's what I'm thinking. Otherwise, like. he's a brother who had... A child who had a child. That would be no. If it's his granddaughter, that means he had to have kids. That's obscene. <laughs> who would have, how did that? How would that guy have ever like in the first place? I'm still shocked he's married. Two, I'm shocked he would have ever had kids because the guy would just be like, "Go away! I'm trying to do a court case. <laughs> I need my facial massage." Alone, it is weak for evidence in a murder trial. We would need some other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? Nick, we're getting closer. One more. If we can just get one more piece of evidence. Right. But what? Hmm. Very well, witness. You may continue. <laughs> hello, hello. Squirrel. What should I say? All right. It's the safe number. Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. Huh? The safe? Why? Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly, what was the number of the safe in the shack? One, two, two, eight. One, two, two, eight. My, what a reckless parrot. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Actually, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with that, though. No. Oh, if that's the same thing, never mind. Actually, it does! That's why I had her say it. Ha! Huh, ridiculous! How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof! What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity? Do you know? Um, I would like to examine everything. Go back. <laughs> Thank back, you, GLaDOS. Hello. Okay, no. Target lost. No. No. Mm -mm. Wait, go back. Okay, one, two, twenty-eight. Yes. That has to be Christmas twenty-eighth, which was the day of the murder. But I don't know what piece of evidence that would be. That would be the case report. Okay. The DL6 case file? Okay. Oh, what is this obsession <laughs> you have with that case? Mr. Wright? Where in this file is something relating to that safe number? That was on case summary. It's on the case summary page! The case summary? Specifically, the date on which the DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident? December 28th. Why, that's today's date! 15 years ago! And the number on that safe is 1228. Ah! Oh! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, your honor. That's how important that date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People uh, often do set their secret numbers to dates. Objection. Bah! This is not tangible proof. I set my ATM's card number to 0001 because I'm number one. This has nothing to do with the date. <laughs> it's like, nothing. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go rob a bank after this to take all of his wealth. <laughs> yeah, so, Von Karma just boarded out his debit card pin to everybody. He's like, I'm like, guess who's gonna get some rich today? <laughs> that's enough. I think we've reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence, that's all. True, that is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. W what are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately. Oh yeah. <laughs> witness, tell us your name. Wait! This witness, he doesn't remember. Shut up. No, it's okay. Hey, man. I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. Nick, he looks totally different! This is the real Yogi, I think. Finally. 
He's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. W well let me ask you again. Please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. 15 years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. Order! Order! Yanni Yogi! So it was you who killed Robert Hammond? And tried to frame Miles Edgeworth for his death? Yes. It was me. I did it. They put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond, he said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent, get me off the hook. So, I pretended to have brain damage. I was innocent, really, but he didn't believe me. We won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiancé, my social status. Okay, that's depressing. His fiancé is like... Okay, well, you're not social- you're not sound, guess I'm gonna die- oh my gosh. Then this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. What? The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't Von care- Von Karma should go to jail! I didn't by care who had sent it. I thought this was my chance. After 15 years, this was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. W wait a moment! Revenge? Against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Well, that's done, but... Uh, it's not really done. Von Karma, where is Mr. Yogi? Under arrest, your honor. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then, the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, is innocent. In this case, at least. Hmm. Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? There are a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hemp. Any objections? No. Uh, uh... Uh... I don't believe it! Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Nah! <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> There's something up. I mean, obviously, <laughs> since Von Karma literally shocked us. <laughs> but... Well, maybe he didn't expect Yogi to confess. That is all. The court is adjourned. He took stuff, though. Objection! Oh my god. Did, did someone just say objection? It wasn't Von Karma. Wait, but that means... No. Edgeworth? Your Honor, I object to your judgment. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. As we have heard, Yanni Yogi killed Robert Hammond in revenge. But revenge for what? Nick! Edgeworth is trying to confess! He's going to say he's guilty! He's going to tell them that he was the murderer and the DL6 is innocent! Blah, 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 blah. He's going to tell them that he killed his own dad! Uh oh, what do I do? Raise an objection or leave it to Edgeworth? Honestly, we should just leave it to Edgeworth, it's his life. Okay. But. Uh, yeah. No. I. I'm sure Edgeworth thought about this one long and hard. Uh, that would at least be my- that's yep. what I would do in real life. This isn't my place to interfere. Nick, are you sure? There's nothing we can do about it. This is his problem now. <laughs> now if we actually raise an objection. objection! The judgment has already been passed! I object to Edgeworth's outburst! Didn't something like this happen yesterday, <laughs> too? <laughs> I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. That would be Larry. We must hear this new witch statement. We must hear Miles Edgeworth. He's right. We have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. Alright. For 15 years, I have had a recurring dream. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know it wasn't a dream. Yanni Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean, in the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. 
everything was as clear as day. The murderer, the criminal in the DL6 incident. It was me. Your Honor, I confess my guilt. I am guilty for DL6, the statute of limitations of which ends today. The culprit is me. Order! Order! This is certainly unexpected. The defendant declared innocent is confessing to a different crime. A crime for which the statute of limitations runs out today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. Bah! It's obvious. We hold a trial. Right here. Right now. We try this man for his crime of 15 years ago. Alright. I can do that. Except, you took his freaking letter and everything, and you shocked us! I think I would like to take a five minute recess. Yeah, let's do that. During this time, I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. That'll be nice. Court is adjourned. Take a quick bathroom break, have a popsicle, pop That's a- You would have to do it at the exact same time, which is kind of weird. That would be weird. December 28th, 224 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. I'm sorry, right? I've just wasted all your effort. That's not true. Mr. Edgeworth, I don't believe it, pal! I mean, you kill your dad? I didn't want to believe accident. it myself, Detective. But it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. It, it was a freaking accident! I know! Like, what the but heck? This is the thing that I'm like, there are several, especially with children, there are several cases where it's like, I, I just did this thing and then everything went wrong! Like, he was like, hey, let me help my dad, and then it's like, BAM! So... Yeah, so he, he's probably not gonna get the death penalty, no. but he'll probably have to serve some time. Guns are a serious matter, ladies and gentlemen. Murder is Always murder, no matter what the circumstances are. WRONG! <laughs> this is crazy! Just crazy! Well, because Edgeworth didn't commit murder, that was accidental, like, manslaughter. That's not murder. True. Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, I was just reading through the court record once more. I'm getting my case ready. Your case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. W what are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. He confessed that he did it. In court. I'm sorry, Edgeworth, but I don't believe your nightmare. W what It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. What if I'm not wearing R a belt? Right. <laughs> well then, hold on to your butts. Oh boy. Oh, there's no to be continued? Well, guess what, folks? This is where we're taking the break for today. Because we've still got about a half hour of court left, I'd say. Oh boy! And then we'll probably have an extra scene and, like, credits and stuff. Yeah, so this is a perfect time to stop, I think. Sorry to leave it in kind of a cliffhanger. <laughs> that just means you're gonna have to come back next time! Wow. Don't ever watch that show, ladies and gentlemen. It's well, terrible. Unless you want to hear bo 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 well, if they want to hear about bo 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 they are just going to watch us talk about bo 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 Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Tune in next time. It's going to be a hoot and five-ninths. Hope to see you then. in five-ninths. Slightly more than a hoot and a half. All right. Anyways. Have a great day, everybody. And God bless.